first of all let's try to understand the question and read till part a only almira is considering two different saving accounts okay both schemes involve an initial investment of $1000 so this is my starting point scheme a talks about at the end of each year she the almira is investing dollar 550 to the account so no other information is given so that means there is a simple interest For scheme A, what is happening? In the beginning, we have, so present value we have $1,000, so dollar, not rupees. And every year, so future value would be $1,000 will be there plus $50 multiplied by five, uh, five years. Is it making sense? Is it making sense? Because no, every no, year... So, sorry, can you repeat? No, I don't understand it. Why is it I... Because the person is investing for five years. Okay, yes. so they are asking for scheme A, how much money will Almira's account will have after end of fifth year. Okay, so in the beginning, so future value is present value plus interest. How much money the person has got extra. So 1000 was his original money. And $50 every year the person is getting for 5 years. So we are just going to multiply that. Okay. Any doubt in this now? Or is it not clear? No, here? no. Clear, clear. So future value for scheme A would be 1000 plus 250. So dollar 1250. Okay, so this particular table or this GDC we use only for compound interest. Remember this thing. Okay, now let us look at scheme B. So scheme B says they are having compound interest of 4%. So now we will be using this thing. We will be using this table, 4%. Understood. Now, present yes, value, what is the present value of scheme B? What is the present value? I guess it is given $1,000. But we will be writing minus 1000 yes. because we are paying the money. We are yes. investing. Okay. Are we paying any monthly payment or yearly payments? Are we uh, paying no. any monthly? Huh? Sorry? No. No, no. no. That $50 was for scheme A, not for scheme B. So uh, right now I'm solving for scheme B. Remember. Now, future value we have to calculate. So I'm just highlighting this thing with green color. We are going to find out this thing. Okay. Payment. Uh, how many payments are being done every year? It is only one. There is no monthly payment. Make sense? Yes, sir. And compounding. This 4% is what? Monthly compounding, yearly compounding. What compounding? I don't think so. They have mentioned anything in part A. So when nothing is mentioned, it is one year. Okay. So yearly one time it is getting compounded. Now beginning or end? Tell me, beginning or end? End then. End. It is written over here now. End. Yeah. End of year. So we will be writing end. 
So insert these values in your GTC and tell me the answer of future value for scheme B. Quickly. So N, N is remaining, sorry. How many years the payment is, like investment is done? Five years. Five. So this is in years, not in months. So it will be kept in five, not multiplied by 12. Okay. So over here, please be careful. Give your answer in two decimal place. And they are saying correct to two decimal place. So you tell me the answer till three decimal place. So one, two, one, six point six. six five. After that, what is answer? Six five. Six five. Six five. And what is the next answer? Do we have any other number? No, no, no that's it. So that is the answer. So okay. future value in this case is dollar one two one six point six five. That is my A part. I hope A part is clear. Yeah. yeah. So let us focus on B part. What annual, sorry, let me just change this thing. What annual compound interest? So over here they are asking compound interest. So we have to find R basically. What annual compound interest would achieve the same amount for Almira as investing in scheme A for five years. So they are saying if that person would have invested the same amount in the compound interest way and have got this amount, what could have been the interest rate? Is this thing clear? Question is clear or not? Not really, sir. Not really. So let us try to understand this question first of all. What interest, what annual compound interest, this part is clear, would achieve the same amount for Almira as investing in scheme A for five years. So if I draw this line over here, they are saying for five years, I need to find this interest rate. Present value is 1000. Okay. And I'm going to, I want to take for compound interest now. So PMT is 50. Every year I'm going for 50. Future value, they are saying I want the same value. Can you see? Same amount. Yes, achieve. Sir. Achieve means what amount I need to achieve. So they are saying instead of getting this amount, I want to achieve 1, 2, 5, 0. Okay, that amount I need to achieve. Payment. So what annual compound interest rate? So over here, one thing is PMT we are not going to make. PMT is 0. They are saying uh, without any further investments. So one, one end. Quickly fill in this value and tell me the interest rate for this. It is 4.56. Let me just erase this thing. 4.56 and that is correct. Now, did you understand why I take uh, took PMT as zero? Because if I take 50 every year, it will already give me this answer. How can I get the same answer and make the payment also? It is not possible. Is that thing clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. So question number B is done. And question number C.
So let me just erase this thing so that we can focus more on question number C. So Almira wants to invest n complete years. Now we don't know the time. So third thing is coming out to be time. For what value of n would Almira be better invest of in scheme B? Better invest of. So word over here is very, very important. Better invest of in scheme B. So basically they are saying, I want to compare both scheme A and scheme B and I want when, when will scheme B will be better. Okay. As compared to okay. scheme A. Is that thing clear? Yes, sir. So we are compare, we are saying when scheme B will be better than scheme A. We need to find that value. So right now, what is happening? Scheme A, what was the scheme A? 1000 plus 50 multiplied by N. N means number of years. Yes or no? That was scheme A. 1000 plus 15 to N. Now, scheme B, it was actually compound interest. And if you remember, compound interest formula is 1 plus R upon 100 power N. Do you remember this formula from your uh, smaller classes, 8th, 9th class? Compound interest formula? No, sir. Okay. So you can note down this formula. Right now, we are using GDC, so we don't use this formula as such. So, basically, principal is the amount which I invested. Okay. So, I invested 1000 rupees. Okay. And interest rate is 1 plus R upon 100. So, 1 plus yeah. rate was 4%. So, I will be getting 1.04. 1 1.04. Okay, and uh, 1.04 for how many years? N, N years. So what I will be doing, I will plug these two values in N solve. Quickly plug in this value in N solve. 1000 multiplied by 1.04 power N greater than, okay, 1000 plus 50 plus 15 to n instead of greater than you can write equals to right now i will explain why i'm saying just for the solving part i'm saying right now just plug in zero equals to quickly solve this thing and tell me so what i have done since uh, over here these two were my equations 1000 into 1.04 power n and another was 1000 plus 15 to n. So I've just written these two in terms of x and using GDC also you can do the same but uh, right now I'm not using GDC I'm using this Desmos tool. The way over here this is a setting option. No? Can you see the setting option? Yes. And on the y-axis, I don't know whether you are able to see because uh, on the y-axis, can you see I have changed the labels. Like, so what I have done, I have zoomed out and zoomed in. So similarly, on GDC also, we can do that. Just, uh, I will show it to you tomorrow. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Now, what I need to do, I need to find the intersection points. Can you see this? So first time yeah. they are meeting at 0, 100, 0, 1000. Second time they are meeting at 11.9. So just over 11. So what it, it means like, actually, if I zoom in a little bit more, can you see the blue color line is above the red color line from the beginning? Yeah. Can you see this? Yeah. Blue color line is above the red color line. Blue yeah. color line is the option number A, scheme number A. 
and the red color line is scheme number B. And they are asking after how long, after how long the blue color line will be down the red color line. Now here it is. Can you see this? Yeah. This is a point. I'm just zooming in a lot. This is a point of inflection. Like from at this point, intersection, sorry. At this point, the red color line is intersecting the blue color line. That means they are actually same. They are equal. So at 11.9 years, at 11.9 years, they are equal. The amount is equal. From the 12th year onwards, the red line is more. Sorry okay. for that. No problem. Yeah. So from the 12th year onward, the red color line, that means scheme B is better. I hope I'm point is clear. Okay. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Actually this was the scheme B red color one. So using the N sol we were not able to get because they were getting a, they were giving us zero only. So what is the problem with n sol? The graph of this thing was like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So n sol tells us the first intersection. N sol do not tell us the second intersection. That is a problem with n sol. So in that case, graphing helps. Is this thing clear? What I just told you. Yes, n sol tell 